Why, you get like five in a box for $20, guys, $20. symmetry to divide it up to make it symmetrical on each side. It's, it's even. Whenever you draw a line, like the next side has to be even too. It's like a mirror of the other side. Yeah. It's, it's, let's clean my mouth. It's almost summer. Ah, outside is actually really nice today. And I look like a hot mess. <laughs> I'm sorry, yeah, a subscriber told me not to say that. Who is it? Um, Who said that? Lovebird Central. <laughs> I made a comment and I said that my hair is a hot mess and she's like, you don't say that. God doesn't create messes. And you're right, I should really, you know, I don't know. And it's not like I really think I'm just a hot mess. It's more like I'm just not put together. No effort went into really putting myself together today. And it shows. Looking, looking like Hobo Joe. <laughs> Sorry. My kids are outside in the backyard. I don't know what the heck they're doing. <laughs> Two seconds ago, Gabrielle was literally trying to build a fire using her glasses to reflect light. Oh, they build a paper airplane that they brought out there too. Hi guys, I'm doing a quick workout on YouTube here, and it is clearly, it's clearly challenging me. Look at the sweat on my face. <clears throat> I've only been working out for 10 minutes and 35 seconds, but um, I'm just touching base to let y'all know this is what's going on. I still have makeup in my brows. That's what makes it look so bad. My brows don't look so bad naturally on their own. They're faint. And I kid you not, when I say it's makeup, watch. You can see the dark brown from my makeup, from my, anyways, bye. I'm still working out, but look what these kids are doing. From the branch that fell down, they're busy building something. 
Hi, what are you making? He was, huh? I saw. <laughs> Those dogs. Such trouble out there. You guys, I am here cleaning the floors because, you know, we have dogs and whatnot. So it's just very important for us to keep the floors clean. The kids like to play on the floors. And I'm just a bit of a germaphobe. It's always surprising that I do have dogs because I do like them. However, I am a bit of a, bit of a germaphobe, especially with how animals can be. So, yeah, I always have to ensure that the place is clean not cool when it's not um side note oh yeah i want to show you guys what i did here so so you're looking at this this is the actual swiffer right i do have swiffer liquid inside there but as for the base you can see what i did just like how i did with the hair ties i come up with my own hair ties i kind of came up with my own little swiffer bottom thing here so what i did was buy it was like a two oh brother <laughs> it's a two for one pack um of these what do you call it two in one for a pack of these microfiber cloths at the dollar store there I put a layer let me get down and show you anyways so I put a layer a washcloth base underneath inside and then I have the two microfiber towels that I placed um, right here one is orange inside and then there's this one and what I did I just I held both corners and just use elastic bands to tie it and when I'm ready to wash them I just take them off and I can just wash them by hand or I can just toss them out and replace them they're easily washable by hand me I find that these actually clean my floor easier because they're they're tiny so they can get into like the tiny particles and as opposed to those um what do you call it Swiffer the Swiffer ones that actually that you have to buy you get like five in a box for twenty dollars guys twenty dollars i find like as you clean the floor they just get really really dirty and then you're wiping the floor you're just i don't know you're just swiping that all over the floor and you get that one clean because you can't wash them so for me i personally don't like those because you can't rinse them and keep them clean yourself you just kind of have, you're if you want to get multiple use out of them you're basically swiping dirt all over your floor and like i said they're just they're you're just getting rid of them after one use so that's what I did I like to be ingenuitive I like to design things and just I don't know come up with my own way of making things work just like my headband this morning I did a tutorial showing you guys how I caught my hair up yes I know I look rough today and I've already said that and my brows are not done but you know it's just one of them days I'm not in that mood to just be all dolled up today Today's a working mood. You can see my living room is a disaster because I have everything here. I can't wait for my basement to get done so these toys can get placed back where they need to be. I've got a doll house over here. I got a doll house over here, doll house over there, play stool over there. I just folded up our table mate that we had right here. And there's just things all over my living room that just don't belong. Even that elliptical. I'm not even sure if I'm keeping that there. Actually, I know I'm not keeping that there because this weekend I actually have to go to my in-laws to pick up a bike. They're giving us an exercise bike because they're moving and they can't take it with them. So with that being said, I'm going to put the bike here because I actually want to use that even more than I do the elliptical. And it will be easily accessible right here in the living room. So I'm going to be putting that downstairs. And it's not, that is the easier one to travel down the stairs because the basement path is narrow and that is light. A lot of talking, yes. But that's what's up. I'm hurrying um, to just straighten up a little bit. I'm going to pop something in the oven for supper. I'm not actually doing a formal dinner tonight because the girls... The girls are going out to their activities and whatnot today, so I use that phrase a lot, whatnot, eh? You guys, you saw that video that I actually posted up. Um, you saw that video that I just posted up about uh, my wanting to have a fourth child, and 
yeah it's for real guys I as you can see it's just like it's kind of emotional talking about it because I've already gone ahead and tied my tubes and that's the hardest part of this whole entire journey is that I tied my tubes and that's like a mistake that I feel like I made because I was so certain when I made that decision back then but I didn't know it would come back to come back to haunt me and with that being said it's like five thousand dollars to reverse my my tubes and then I I also don't know if it's gonna be a hundred percent at that point so I don't know it's just it's really tough it's really tough tough decisions I've got a lot to think about but I gotta get back to cleaning real quick before hubby gets home so he's got something to eat when he arrives so um, I'll touch base I, I need to take a big break and chop up this eggplant that I have here and I think I'm just gonna roast it in the oven it's an easy way to take care yeah <laughs> Thank you.